So, okay guys, let's do a follow me around Monday. You guys seem to enjoy that because there was a lot of views on that one video. So let's do another follow me around. Um, I gotta clean my room. As you can see, there's some laundry and my bed is totes jacked up. Um, I need a vacuum in here too. I got all this stuff out and I was making some biz. I'm vlogging, baby. And today I've got to go maybe sign some papers. Well, depends on how the roads are because this thing did not go to school. Even though I told her yesterday she had to go. Apparently the state board didn't agree with me and said you, you could stay home. And uh, so I might go and uh, sign papers for my taxes and maybe go to the Amish store. What did I say? What was Matt Smith or pizza? Which is better? Pizza is actually less expensive. But Matt Smith I've already paid for. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling you're going to pick Matt Smith. We don't need no pizza. Say bye. bye. I'm having me some... It's like brunch because it's afternoon. Um... This is one biscuit and a serving of gravy, and the gravy that I used is this. Well, I didn't make it. Um, the gravy we used was this country something pioneer brand, and it is 45 calories. It was one point. So, and I think this biscuit, because it's not homemade or anything, I think it's five. So that's six points for breakfast, and I've already had coffee and then I know I gotta get a shower and go do stuff on my day off. I hate doing stuff on my day okay, off. Guys, quick outfit of the day. We had to go sign my tax papers and I had to went to the dollar store and went to the Amish store. So just a casual today. Um, this is my favorite Google doll shirt ever. Check it out. I ordered this from a magazine like in the 90s, like 98 or 99. It's actually got a little bleach stain on it down there. But um, when I first bought it, I was in high school and I could not even fit in it. So yeah, this is like my favorite shirt. You can tell like the black is faded. I've worn it a lot. And then I did have or, like a red tank top underneath of it. It's uh, like a little um, lacy stuff on the bottom. And then I have got my Google's jacket on. Um, it says, oh, you can't see it, but it even says Google Dolls on the butt. And then it says, yeah, Google Dolls right here. This was from the, uh, it wasn't the Gutter Flower Tour, because I have a Gutter Flower hoodie. Um, I can't remember what tour it was from. But, uh, yeah. And then I have my, um, black. Was that like bluish grayish weird black uh, skinny pants on because they're literally the only pair of pants I have that fit. And um, uh, what else? I'll show you my socks. I've already taken my shoes off because you know I hate shoes. You know where the color stains on my floor. Those are my coffee socks. Life is too short to have uh, boring socks. So I'm going to flip this around and I'll show you my Okay, so my jewelry I found is just my Mandy necklace and my Gutterflower necklace. But these, let me see, these are my Gutterflower earrings. They're not like official Goo Dolls Gutterflower earrings or anything, but I bought them. I think I got these from Claire's. And uh, I wear them all. So I used to wear them all the time, and then I kind of forgot I had them. And then I uh, got them back out. So I'll probably wear them a lot again I do that with jewelry I forget I have stuff and then I get it out and then I'll wear it forever to like can't wear it no more so all right guys see you later all right guys this is dinner this is a ginormous taco salad with romaine lettuce whoops and my chip tomatoes chip um there is half a cup of ground beef under there which is the lint liney, whatever, percent lean. There's a serving of cheese on there. I use regular cheese. It's like 2%, you know, sharp Mexican cheese in the bag. 
Um, if I'm gonna eat cheese, I'd rather eat cheese because I don't like that Weight Watcher cheese. Weight Watcher cheese is a lie. Don't let them tell you that's cheese because that shit don't even melt right. Um, this is homemade salsa. And then I have a serving of um, tortilla chips here. So, like, this salad is ginormous. So, I mean, I haven't had very much today. So, it's kind of pointy. But, um, yeah, I haven't had very much to eat today. I've been running around. So, okay. Bye, guys. To do, like, a bazillion haircuts. Maybe not a bazillion. Maybe only three. But it feels like a bazillion when it's on your day off. Gonna make me and Bug some of this fancy tea. Bye, Forster. And these fancy Hello Kitty That are mine. What did Except you say it smelled like? What? What did you say the tea smelled like? Christmas or Halloween or fall. Yeah, you think so? Okay, so it is about almost 10.30. And... I think I'm done eating for the day. I'm like really full. I still have points left, but I don't think I'm going to eat them. Um, I decided to work on some bows. Look at my lovely little bow making thing. <laughs> well, it's what I keep my glue gun on. Um, I'm making some Valentine ones. It's really close to Valentine's Day, so I made one for Tiff. This one, I don't know. I'm just going to see how many I can make. Um tonight and then I probably won't make any more. I should have been working on them a lot sooner. So this one's not done yet, but I think that one's kind of pretty. These are all my little Valentine ribbon. I didn't even realize I had this much Valentine ribbon. Otherwise I would have been making them, but last year I bought it when it was on sale and I think I forgot I bought it. <laughs> so, well I know I forgot I bought it because I didn't know I had this much. And there's some like little pink uh, tool. But I'm going to watch. This is, I just started it. I actually bought it off iTunes. It was like $2.99. It's a little saver with Benedict Cumberbatch. It was like a, it, it's a short film. It's literally 21 minutes. <laughs> just a little over 21 minutes. So, yeah, I'm going to watch this. And if it is cray like I think it's going to be, I might be back. OMG, y'all. It's Sherlock and Dr. Moon. It's Dr. Moon from Dr. Who. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so glad that I have not taken my makeup off yet because I just got done watching that little favor movie. Actually, I watched it like three times because I'm like, what? The first time I was like, huh? And then the second time I watched it, I'm like, what the hell did I just watch? And then the third time I'm like, I'm still like, what the hell did I just watch? Um, it says it's 21 minutes, but it's really like 17 and a half minutes because like three minutes are credits. Um, but anyway, like, okay. I, I don't know how much of a review this is going to be more than I'm just about to tell you the entire movie because I'm just like, I, I just, I don't even know. Like it starts out, okay. Um, it's Benedict Cumberbatch, and the guy that plays his friend, that he's the friend that's asking for the little favor, is um, Dr. Moon <laughs> from freaking Doctor Who. He played in the episode with uh, River Song um, when she first, you know, silence in the library and uh, Force of the Dead. Anyway, besides the point, so... <sighs> Dr. Moon meets Sherlock at, like, this warehouse, right? And so he's like... Uh, apparently they haven't seen each other in a really long time and they were at, they were in war together and like Dr. Moon saved Sherlock, right? So basically Dr. Moon wanted Sherlock, sorry, this is how I'm keeping up with him in my head, rather than saying, because saying Benedict Cumberbatch over and over and over again is going to be like really hard because I can't remember what their names were in the movie. Anyway, so Dr. Moon tells Sherlock he's like his favor that he wants him to do is to take his little girl because apparently he's like gotten into trouble with like the Russian mob or something and he needs her he wants Sherlock to take his little girl and take care of her 
And at first Sherlock is like, no, I can't do that. And then finally he's like, I am a favor. So he's like, okay, I'll take her. So he takes a little girl and like Dr. Moon is like telling her all this like stuff, like this mantra they got, you know, like he asks her a question and she answered and he's like, where are you at? And she's like, here. And you know, like stuff like that. And so then he leaves and you just kind of assume that like Dr. Moon is going to die, you know, and like, Sherlock is going to be stuck taking care of this little girl. That's just kind of what you assume. So then, you know, like Sherlock takes her to his house and Sherlock's house is like super cool. It's like this really like posh looking old warehouse with like funky furniture and stuff. I don't know. I was probably paying too much attention to that. Um, so, you know, Sherlock takes uh, Dr. Moon's daughter to like his house and, you know, the Russian people are like, oh my gosh, like, he totally gave, Dr. Moon totally gave his daughter to Sherlock, and we can't find him, but we know where Sherlock is, so we're gonna go get Sherlock and the little girl, because they know where Dr. Moon is at. Um, so then, like, these people, like, bust up in the house, okay, and, like, Benedict Cumberbatch totally went con, like, he went straight up into darkness because he freaking destroyed all of them so you assume like in the war he might have been like i don't know what are they called like snipers or you know people who just like freaking kick ass you know because that's what he did he like destroyed them and then the main guy was like oh you're getting kind of rusty blah 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 you know it's been a while and so the some of them run off with the little girl and then uh Sherlock runs outside and he's like, Oh no, where'd she go? Like they took her and so he gets in the car. So then he and... gets in the car and like the Russian guy's in the car and he's like, Oh, you are rusty. So then apparently he you know, he wakes up and he's like all bloody and like totally destroyed. And apparently they've been like beating the shit out of him trying to find out where Dr. Moon is at and Sherlock doesn't know where Dr. Moon is at. And so then he's like, Well, let me see the little girl and so then they bring the little girl out. And the the Russian guy is like, look, he's like, I know you don't know where Dr. Moon is at, but he's like, um, I think Sherlock does. And then it's supposed to be, I guess, like the little girl gets scared or something. And so she grabs the gun and he's like, no, 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 not yet. Um, because, you know, he's got the gun on Sherlock. He's going to shoot him. And he's like, no, 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 not yet. And then the little girl winks at him. And she freaking, like, takes the gun and starts shooting everybody, like, freaking ninja moves, like, crazy-ass ninja moves. Like, who would have known that, you know, Dr. Moon's offspring would totally be kicking ass like that? But, so anyway, then Dr. Moon's offspring and, like, Sherlock destroy them all, and then the Russian guy, the main, the bad main Russian guy is still alive, and, um, they're like, uh... She's like, do you got him? And, you know, because they think, they hear this noise and they think more people are coming. It's, okay, he thinks it's more of his people that are coming in. And uh, Sherlock has just, like, his vision is all blurry and, like, he can't hear very good. And he doesn't know what's going on. He just knows that the little girl left and she's walking back with someone. And come to find out, it's freaking Dr. Moon. It's Dr. Moon. He is not dead. And he comes back he's like oh um he goes and he talks to the russian guy and he whispers it and like you know he sherlock can't hear because he's been like they beat the shit out of him and um so then he's like uh the russian guy ugh, i've lost my train of thought the russian guy is like oh you're gonna let me go he's like you know and he's like uh yeah, and the Russian guy is, is like, oh, it's like a message to my people or whatever. He's like, you're going to let me go. And Dr. Boone is like, yeah. And then he's like, offspring, let him go. And the little girl freaking shoots the dude in the head. Shoots him in the head. And then Dr. Moon to Sherlock is all like, oh, I knew I could count on you. So basically the little favor was for Sherlock to come and destroy everybody. So, you know. Like, I guess that was all part of his elaborate plan. Freaking Dr. Moon. It was cray. It was cray. I mean, it was really, really good. It was, like, super good. It was super short. And it's, like, really action-packed. So, it like, it, like, it goes by really, really fast. Which is why I watched it three times. And, like, when I watched it the first time, I'm like, what the fuck? It's, like, serious. It's over. Like, that's the end. That's, that's how it's going to end. Like, the little girl freaking shoots the Russian... And then they show her and she's got like blood all over her face. And I'm like, that can't be the end. You know, but it was totally the end. It was totally the end. 
But the first half of it where um, Sherlock is like all clean, he, he looks pretty hot. And then at the end, he's like all bloody. Like for the half of, first half, he's clean. And then the second half, like, you know, they beat the absolute tar out of him. They've actually beat the curl back into his hair. Because like <laughs> in the beginning, like when it first starts out, like his, his, you know, his hair is like all slicked back and straight. And then once they beat the crap out of him, like his hair is all curly again. Which, you know, that happens when you get sweaty. And you have naturally curly hair. It just curls up. That's what happens when you do story night. So. Oh my god. That was so weird. So. Okay. Bye guys. <laughs>